And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Thresh as our first deck of the day. Uh, yeah, gonna go ahead and try this deck again. It's been a little while since we've played this. This was, um, you know, we have like the newish Mage Seekers um, in Demacia, how they're a little different than what they, well, a lot different than what they were before. But pairing uh, the Demacia Lux Mage Seeker um stuff with shadow isles because shadow isles has awesome top end you know you have vengeance ruination harrowing but really it's about rekindler because both lux and thresh are really impactful champions <clears throat> and rekindler being able to bring either one of them back is pretty awesome especially lux you know lux is um you know of course super powerful like so rekindler gets you know for just one extra mana than what lux costs uh, you get a 4-4 body along with your Lux. So kind of pairing those together. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and give our deck a try. We're going to be playing it in five matches in ranked, like always. Uh, versus AI, I know, versus player. I did a little testing earlier for a new deck. Dang, we're at 2381. Okay, we got to pick up some wins. Let's pick up some wins today. Let's go. We're going to the Hall of Valor to get some wins. Let's see if we can get to the triple digits today. Probably not. That's a long ways to go, but we'll see. We got two new decks that we're going to be playing later. Endure Undying. You know, an Undying deck with They Who Endure. Well, I don't want these things in my opener. There's a Lucian Draven. Very very aggressive. I probably don't want Thresh then either. Um, but then Ephemeral Katarina. Gonna try a new thing with that. Because it turns out, and that's why I was playing against the AI earlier, to test it. Because um, I was wondering what happened. Like, like, what happened if you... Like, I was wondering what happens if you have... A yeah, I'll just play the Persuader. If you had an Ephemeral Katarina that's supposed to die, but then the level up also says to put it back into your hand, like what what does it do? And it turns out, it when it uh, levels up, it goes back to your hand. Magic must be stopped before it. So since that's the case. Um, yeah, we're going to try having some of the, uh, the ephemeral cards with Katarina. So, you know, have stuff like Oblivious Islander, make it cost less. This will hopefully make their attack not very good. Hopefully. I guess we're really doing this. I guess we are. Our obvious blocks. How Spider is a good card. It's a really good card. Two mana, five power, two bodies. Time for the money makers. That was very good. With a discard. Legion rearguard. All right, so can cast Vengeance this turn to turn on Mage Seeker Persuader. We don't really have anything to Vengeance. Thresh is good, too. So 
they passed back to me. So obviously I can go to attack and, you know, eat one of these things. Then they, like, replay. Like, then, then after attacks, then they play other stuff. Could also just not attack and pass, like we're doing here. And, because these are not a threat. So now they play stuff. And therefore, I have a really good blocker now with the Lux. With the barrier. Because, of course, all we need to do is just, you know, we don't need to, like, put pressure on the opponent with attacking. Right? All we have to do is survive as long as possible. Get the game going long. got something for me to vengeance level up the Lux level up these mage seekers and make a final spark um I'll say Final Spark so that they don't get to play anything else. This turn. Again. Making the game go longer. I'm going to save the Withering Whale's ability to heal three. I think that's more important than anything else that we're doing this turn. Maybe it's not. So, like, basically, if they have Might... Maybe you have to block here. That'll keep me at seven, and a Might, a might doesn't kill me. Yeah, like my plus spinning axe isn't killing me. Hey Rex. So I guess like blocking with one of these like one one toughness or two toughness things when they can might the the cat of the arm. Um that's pretty risky. So we'll block with the thresh, use that, which means obviously I don't get to withering will now. How are you doing today, Rex? We were talking earlier about haircuts. Before, you know, at the beginning of the stream, before recording. Um, today's the two month day since I got my haircut. Now I'm supposed to have a haircut today. You know, that I had like the, the appointment set for two months from my last haircut that was supposed to be today. Can't get it, but. I'm okay for today, but, you know, like this, my sides and 
in the back it is annoying me more and more each day and I'm okay today but I don't know about in a few weeks or you know could get pretty bad okay you went out and shopping and stuff nice nice Ezreal Katarina. That's pretty cool. Katarina make the blade's edge to trigger Ezreal. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't really want any of these. Well, I guess we're getting these. I guess we're playing aggro. It's probably not... You know, this is probably not a great idea against Ezreal and against Katarina. So I guess they have Thermogenic Beam. Why did they play that? What? I'm surprised they didn't play that after I played my Bright Seal Protector. And they could have had their 2-2 block my 3-2. But I guess they'd rather take the damage. Oh, I guess... Cause, oh, because if I did... If they played it first, then I would challenge... Right, right, right. I had, the, I had the tracker with the barrier. Never mind. Never mind. It makes complete sense not to, not to play it. Never mind. Boo. Turn three static shock is pretty good. Next turn, I'll have five mana. Steel is yours. Avenge me. Of course, I'm ready. All right, so this will let me play the Remembrance and turn on the Mage Seeker Insider, turn on the Investigator. Let the bloodshed begin. So what am I doing next turn? Threshing? Or Insider plus Protector. Maybe Insider plus Protector. Yeah, probably that. Dang, chill out. Four out of eight for Ezreal. Oh, 
Boo. That was a well-timed arachnoid sentry. Oh, come on. Also, well-timed turn. Well-timed house fighter, also. Be able to shunt block that. That was just pretty well-timed. I think we could use another Thresh. That would be a good draw. That's what we could use. More Thresh. So five out of eight for Katarina. Certainly considering some kind of detain, of like, of detaining probably like my own things, but I don't think there's anything that really worked or anything that made a ton of sense. The box could be pretty good. You know, good against Katarina, for example. Good spot. Down to four. Never Sounds dangerous. I'm in. All right, let's see if this works. They can level up their Ezreal with just one target. All they need to do is play something that targets one of my things, and then Ezreal levels up, and then this doesn't kill Ezreal. This but it does kill the Katarina. That's unfortunate. They did have, not only did they have something to level up Ezreal, but it only cost one mana, so they got to cast the Mystic Shot also. Like, that was, that was perfect. So, ten, we're one short of Detain Box Combat. I can have Detain Combat Persuader. So I think that's, that's where my turn is right now. Let the floor I don't really want to detain this. I'd rather single combat it. Darn.
Hopefully this works. We have our two lethal attackers. They have a lot of mana, but they gotta answer both of them. We did draw that fourth Thresh. We got this. Okay. One on one. Wait. Did we lose that first game? No, we won the first game. I thought we won the first game. I just had it listed as a loss. I won that first game, right? Yeah, we had yeah we had the locks out there. Yeah, we had a, like a million things out. Yeah, we won that first game. Yeah, we're two zero. So Zed Fiora. So this is probably a standalone deck. Um, we'll have Remembrance, single combat. That's a good place to start. Ooh, I like Ruination against Standalone. Obviously, they have Deny for it, but besides that. So Lee with the Twitch Prime resub. Thank you, So Lee. Welcome back. That's our second sub of the day. We had Crazy Pyro resubbing earlier. Okay. It's a valuable card to get out of their hand, plus they're not playing a threat this turn. So we'll take that for this turn. This turn, not so good for me. Last turn, it was okay. This turn, not so okay. Not planning on attacking with the tracker. I could have tried a single combat, but they still had three mana, so it's not super likely that the single combat would have worked. Um, so since I since I'm not trying single combat, then uh, we get to try ruination. And I think it's I just think it's a lot more likely that they would have had three mana protection to keep Zed alive whether it's a barrier or a twin disciplines or anything like that over a second deny since they already used the deny earlier. Huh. 
Imperion's not one you see every day. Control the mage to control their magic. Pretty cool addition. I haven't seen that card in this deck before. It's a heck of a card. 6-5 elusive. They would fall by my aid. Tread lightly. Strike hard. All down. I think that's just we're just gonna have to hope that works and then I'm gonna single combat this of course I can not do both and then if they respond to one I'll have the other Vengeance? I don't have like a fast speed spell to draw that would trigger Lux. Like if I play Lux right now, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I just think they killed me. I like my only op I have two options: either Inciter and then Glimpse Beyond and sacrifice the Inciter and draw two cards. I'm not exactly sure what we're drawing into. It's like single combat and stuff. I, I guess that's our better option. It's either that's one option or um, a, or attack with or just just play Lux. But just play Lux, they just go to attacks and then attack with the four three. And then like, what am I doing with the four three? I guess I should have done that pre-combat. Could have gotten Persuader to take that. Well, the the other one has de has detained the six five flyer. Like if if this one dies, I I lose. I can't I can't really attack with that one. Because then they just have repost, and then and then I would lose. He, at least here, you know, like we're drawing into uh, vengeance or single combat. He's trying to at least. I guess single combat wouldn't really worked because they'd have repost still. Oh, it's all good, Teasel. Okay, yeah, you just just tuned in. Yeah, yeah, just the turn before I I had to detain. They had they had a Peary on the six five flyer. <clears throat> and so I had to detain that to keep from dying. All right, well, two and one. GG's. Maybe I turned to me. No, I tried to mulligan that also, but oh well. I guess we're keeping it. I clicked too fast. Click too furious. What 
we get? Ooh. Silver Wing Lancer. Hitting hard. And they're ramping hard. I have five mana, they have seven. That's alright, we can do some cool stuff with five mana. Such as... I can double single combat and kill that thing. Is that my best play though? Maybe not. Oh, come on, I just walked into Ruination, didn't I? Oh, I was just thinking about... Uh, <sighs> just walked into Ruination. Oh, I walked into that. As soon as I played it, I looked and I counted 9 mana, and then I realized, as soon as I played the 2 on, even before they played that Ruination, I realized what had gone wrong. Yeah, I definitely need a single combat to kill the, kill the egg, um, which I, you know, I could have done pre, you know, either side, pre or post combat, but definitely want to kill that egg. Hey, Barter Rock. Well, I'm still up a card. But I definitely should have gone straight to attacks before. Play this Persuader first. Five mana, I don't think they can kill Lux. Such immediate passing. So we'll have our um, Vanguard capture. Well, the Vanguard capture a leveled up Lux.
So the Vanguard dies, we get Lux back. We want Silver Wing Lancer. Let's get Silver Wing Lancer. Darn. What do we want to do? I think we should shine, since the sun is shining. They've played around, like, they've played two ruinations, so it's not incredibly likely they have another, but I guess they do. I guess it was just strictly better to wait for the next Lux, then this this Lux would have two mana on it. All right, but they surrendered. Didn't have any more removal. They're at nine. We're attacking for nine. That's kind of a crazy game. We really see the power of our deck, though. Fought, fought through a bunch of ruinations fairly easily. Nice, had a lot of success with the Nivea in draft this week. Okay. Yeah, Nivea definitely seems like a real good draft card where the games are a little slower. And uh, and Freljord in general has some really good top end stuff in draft. I like Freljord in draft. It's important to have a good top end in draft. Games go a little longer, and so you need to have that power. <clears throat> Lee Straven. If I knew for sure we were going to be getting a Remembrance, I would have kept that 4-drop. Going Remembrance into the 4-drop is a pretty good uh, curve. The problem is that may be too slow in this matchup. Yeah, Trindamir is pretty busted in draft. Yeah, it's, Trindamir is a huge bomb in draft. That's that is true. No. I'll play Elise. Now they're gonna have Draven. That card's pretty tough. Yeah, keep them from attacking. Ooh, that is big time. And now we got Persuader plus Protector. That is pretty nice. I think we attack with, or I think we take the Elise, not the Draven, simply because if they have like another spider and then they flip Elise, uh, I don't know, something could go wrong. I don't know exactly what, but something could definitely go wrong. Yeah, they would add some more spiders. All right, thanks. Thanks for stopping by, Border Rock. Have a good one. 
All right, well, we will... Do we obvious block here? Do I just go with all of these and just take these out? Take these out. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna block here. Force them to use stuff to kill my 5-5. Five five. Okay, I was gonna say, as long as it's not vision, we're, we're okay. There's a rear guard. Okay, they, they used a whole lot of cards to be able to do that. I still have the Thresh, the Challenge. Now we just drew the Persuader. We're going to be fine. We got a lot, lots of stuff. What's really strong about this deck, which is like kind of like the secret strength of this deck, is how big all of these cards are. Just power toughness wise. It's a two mana for a four three challenger. Just the size of these things. Uh, let's see. So it's five things dying for for Thresh. Thresh, you can go grab a Lux, put it into play. That was a good turn for them, though. Wow. It's time. Wow. Draven time is done. GG. That's that's why I put one Withering Whale in the deck. You know, whenever we played this deck before, we didn't have one. I was like, you know what? We need a Withering Whale in here. And that is why we need a Withering Whale. Four and one with Mage Seeker Thresh. This deck felt nice. It really did. Um, yeah, you know, like our, our one loss is to the, the standalone deck. That the stand Like, whenever the standalone deck has a really good hand, it, it can beat anything. And it will. It will beat everything whenever it you know, has a really good mix of uh, like a perfect mix of threats and interaction and that's what um that's what it had but besides that our deck felt really powerful um and really impressive honestly things did line up for us pretty well but one thing you know from playing that I kind of think that maybe it should be two back-to-back -to, -back to Vengeance. Vengeance did look pretty good. I'm not. I'm not sure. But if you if you're trying this later on, let me know what you think. And you know, y'all in, in Twitch chat can let me know what you think. Like, should we have two back-to-back -to, -back to Vengeance? Um. You know, I I was playing one and three, but I could see going two and two with those. I'm not sure. Back to back can be so good though with um, with these mage seekers, like where you play these things early, and then you know like turn you know five, you have like an extra spell mana, 
you back to back two things in combat then they also grow because you play the six mana spell and it can just be a huge blowout um but uh anyway there we go that was mage seeker thresh pretty sweet deck we didn't even get to harrowing um you know harrowing can be something else also um single combat looks like so whenever we played this deck it's been a while since we played this deck but new things i added in for today we did there was no single combats last time and single combat looked awesome so especially for how big our creatures were so single combat was a good upgrade and the withering whale that was the other thing that i added in um i took out like one of these mage seeker investigators we're playing two not three and we had a purify in here so we took that out and i took out one glimpse beyond we got two not three and i think th those were some some good changes but yeah ggs all right good good looking deck here with mage seeker thresh all right but those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and also let me know what you think let me know if you're um as impressed as i am and if you try it out yourself leave a comment let me know how it goes all right, but that's it here for Mage Seeker Thresh, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.